If you're like me, then you probably struggle with your curls getting frizzy by the end of the day and losing definition, especially by day two. Well, I'm gonna walk you through a step-by-step -step styling routine that's going to ensure that your curls stay frizz-free and hold their definition, even in humidity and in dry weather. If you are new to my channel, welcome. My name is Gina, and here I make videos all about naturally curly hair. I love simplifying things, doing step-by-step -step tutorials, talking about the science of hair, and helping you problem solve so that everyone can achieve health your curls. And if you're a returning subscriber, thank you so much for coming back to my channel. I also wanted to thank Curlsmith for partnering with me for this video. They're one of my favorite partners here on my channel. I'm always using their products even when I'm not partnering with them. They make curly hair products that are for everyone. They have something for everyone with all of their different recipes. They're vegan, cruelty-free, and they're just really great high-quality products. And they're actually launching two new products that are part of their moisture recipe. These are the Flawless Finish Curl Enhancing Hairsprays. There's one that's more of a flexible hold and then a stronger hold version. I've been experimenting with hairsprays quite a bit lately just for adding some additional hold, and I feel like they're such an underrated hair product for curls. And there's not a lot of hairsprays out there for naturally curly hair, but these are alcohol free. So they're non-damaging. They're not going to dry out your curls and they can really benefit your curls, especially when it comes to keeping them lasting longer. I'm going to be putting these to the test and showing you my next day hair results because they're supposed to keep your hair in place for 24 hours. So you have to stay tuned to see those results. So let's go ahead and jump into the styling routine. So prior to styling, you'll want to make sure that your curls are free of buildup and are good and moisturized. I actually used the Curlsmith Detox Kit today before I styled. So I first went in with the primer, then I use the clarifying shampoo and then the calming conditioner afterwards. This is perfect if your curls just need a nice reset. You'll want to remove any buildup from your hair if you want your hair to last longer because buildup can actually prevent your products from absorbing. Then of course, hair that is dry always is frizzy. So you'll wanna make sure that you use a deep conditioner afterwards. I went with the multitasking conditioner today just to get in some protein since I'm using some protein free stylers for this routine today. After rinsing out that deep conditioner, I'm good to go in and style. I like to damp style. So I will usually towel dry my hair first and then I just spritz it with a water bottle. So now I'm going in with the Curlsmith Hold Me Softly Style Balm. I'm first using this to moisturize my hair. So this is my base product and this is to ensure that my curls are going to be moisturized so that way they don't get dry and frizzy by the end of the day. Any of the products from the Curlsmith Moisture Recipe are great for obviously providing moisture, but they also help keep your curls moisturized longer because we don't want our hair to dry out. You also want to look for products that have really good slip in them. You might want to go with some more lightweight products as well so that way your hair doesn't get weighed down, especially as you refresh the next couple of days. And you also wanna look for products that can be reactivated with water if you want to extend your wash days. And I'll get into that when I show you the gel that I'm using, but you can use any leave-in conditioner or curl cream for this step. Then I'm sectioning off my hair, that way I can more evenly apply my gel. For the gel, I'm going in with the Curl Defining Styling Souffle. This is such a unique product in that it's super moisturizing. It can give you a buildable hold or strong hold depending on how much that you use. And it can really help with moisture retention. So if you're someone that lives in a dry climate, if you live in the desert, or if you just struggle with your curls getting dried out by the end of the day and ending up very frizzy, then this is a great option. As I mentioned, you'll want to look for products that have a lot of slip, and this definitely does. It has a ton of slip to it, which is gonna be excellent for anyone who has dry hair, tingly hair, damaged hair, all of that. And it also has good sealing ingredients, so it's going to lock in that moisture to keep your hair moisturized longer. So I really like using this, especially when I want really easy refreshes, because it does reactivate with water, which is another thing that you'll want to look for, because that's gonna make refreshing so much easier. You don't have to layer on product every time that you go to refresh, you can just add a little bit of water. And once it dries down, you will feel that cast come back. I have been really trying to perfect the amount of this gel that I use because if you use too much of it, it can be difficult to scrunch out and it gives you like maximum definition. So for this routine, I only use like a pea size amount per section and you can really emulsify it in your hands. So a little does go a long way with this gel. So it's going to last you a really long time, but I finally feel like I got it with this routine and maybe it's because I paired it with that hold me soft style balm so that way it wasn't too crunchy by the time my hair dried because as I mentioned in my previous video the more cream that you use under your gel the softer the cast that you're going to get so if you're wanting not quite a strong hold use a moisturizing cream underneath of it if you want more hold use more gel and less cream underneath 
Now for the next step that can make the world of difference in how long your curls last, and that is brush styling or finger coiling, or really any type of styling technique that enhances your definition and your clumping. So I usually do more styling techniques like this around my face framing pieces or around any problem areas. For me, that's definitely this section at the top because this area just ends up like a puff of frizz by the end of the day. I have a lot of new growth coming in right here, a lot of grays and just shorter hairs that just wanna poke through. So the more clumped that your hair is, the longer it's going to last with its definition. Whenever I don't brush style or don't do any styling and I just simply scrunch in my products and go, I usually have a lot of frizzy pieces by the end of the day, a lot of stringiness, and my curls just don't hold their shape as easily. You'll wanna be super gentle though with your hair. I've been trying to brush style less, but it's something that's really hard to give up because I love how long the curls last with this. But I'm using a brush that doesn't give too much tension or anything, and I have a lot of slip in my hair as I mentioned, so it's fine. I will link the brush and all these products too, by the way, in the description box down below. But this has really helped me with these problem areas, so that way they just hold their definition longer. So the more definition that you achieve on wash day, the longer it will last. If you're finding these tips helpful, make sure you're subscribed if you're not already. I know a lot of you are not and are just watching. Make sure you hit that subscribe button down below because I share tips and videos like this every single week. After I finished styling, I just scrunched briefly with my hair towel. This is gonna soak up any excess product and then you can just glaze a little bit more if you get any frizzy areas over the surface. Now I'm ready to diffuse. So. One of my other tips for longer lasting curls is definitely to diffuse to set your gel cast right away. I think I mentioned this in my last video, but it really helps so much because you don't wanna be air drying forever, especially in humidity or super dry weather. That can really just disrupt your curls, especially if it takes hours on end for your hair to dry. That's just leaving it susceptible to getting frizzy because you're touching it throughout the day. It's rubbing against stuff. And so I personally find that diffusing ends up in so much less frizz and my curls last longer. Also, diffusing is heat and heat sets your curls in place. It sets those hydrogen bonds in your hair to hold that structure. So if your curls are falling flat by the end of the day, or if they're just losing their definition and bounce, try diffusing because that little bit of warm heat is going to set them in place. You can totally use a heat protectant first so that way you don't get any damage or anything, but the Curlsmith Diffrision hair dryer is made for curls, so for me it doesn't get too hot at all. So I scrunched out some of the gel cast for some more volume, but bonus tip, if you want your curls to last longer, leave that gel cast in, it will gradually release throughout the day. So now, what do you do about some of these frizzy flyaways? So the last step is going to be to seal in your style with a hairspray for maximum hold. So I've been testing out using a hairspray at the end of my routine, and look at that difference. This is the new Curlsmith hairspray. This is the more flexible hold one, but you can totally use the stronger hold one if you want even more hold. But look at that volume that it gives. You can also lift up your roots, spray it, and then give your roots a shake, and it gives you that texture and grit that's needed to hold that volume in place. Place. You can also use it on frizzy ends like this. You see how that was frizzy before and then I just finger coiled with a little bit of that hairspray and now it looks so much better. I really use it to target certain areas like my grays to hold them down and also the ends on this side of my hair always get so frizzy. The new Curlsmith Flawless Finish hairsprays are alcohol free so they're non-damaging, they're not going to dry out your hair and they also help to fight frizz and just keep your hair lasting longer. They create so much volume and they're supposed to last for 24 hours. So let's see how my curls look after 20 24 hours after this wash day. So here are my results 24 hours later. Is it just me or do my curls look better on day two? I feel like I have so much more volume. They just look softer and really voluminous. So I did a hard bike workout, wore my hair up in a bonnet. I also took a bath that night and then I also showered the next morning. And these are my results after all of that. So basically had bath, shower and workout and it held up great. And this is also with no refreshing. So I just have a few frizzy pieces. That's totally normal, but look at the roots. I barely have any flyaways I just have like a normal amount of frizziness like my hair is never completely frizz free and that's expected I do have some frizz around just my uh, temple area this section as I mentioned is a problem area for me especially because it tends to get sweaty right there but I actually think it's giving me some good volume I just kind of hide it underneath of the better looking curls and it gives me a lot of volume so I could do a little bit of refreshing with just adding some water and smoothing over some of the frizzy curls but Overall, I could totally skip refreshing and be happy with these day two results.
I also wanted to share with you all this chart that I put together that perfectly sums up how to keep your curls intact longer. It's basically breaking down all of the different factors that contribute to a long lasting wash day. Half of the equation is all about the products that you use on wash day. As I described, you need to be using products that have some hold in them if you want your curls to last. About 30% of it is how you sleep with your curls. You don't wanna spend a lot of time on your hair and then ruin them overnight, so you have to be protecting them. So I would say sleep protection is about 30%. And then about 10% is your styling techniques. So some of the techniques that you do on wash day, such just finger coiling or brush styling that really help your curls last longer. And then about 10% is actually how you refresh. You don't have to refresh your curls as I mentioned, but it is a great way to extend your wash day so that way you don't have to wash as frequently. So those are the factors that contribute to a long lasting wash day. So refreshing is another great way to extend the life of your curls and it's just needed for some hair types. Some hair types might not need to refresh. It's really good to avoid saturating your hair every single day. I try and refresh as little as possible because it's not great for your hair to be wetting it down and saturating it every single day. I usually try and avoid refreshing at least on day two, maybe day three if I'm not going anywhere, and I keep it very simple when I'm refreshing so I don't have to completely restyle. You don't have to go days and days on in, in between your wash days. Not everyone can go seven days and that's totally okay. I usually wash my hair about twice a week, which is a good balance. For people who have have high porosity hair or damaged hair products and moisture can really evaporate from the hair quickly so that's why you might notice that your hair looks very dry or frizzy after wash day because those products especially if you're not using products that have good sealants in them can just evaporate from your hair along with moisture leaving your curls dry and frizzy after wash day and sealing in with a hairspray is especially going to help keep your curls intact even on refresh days I find that this actually keeps more hold in my hair compared to finishing off with like an oil Oil or something. Using an oil at the end of your routine is a great way to lock in some moisture and also add shine, but it just softens up your gel cast and you actually need that cast to keep longer lasting curls. And so that's why using something like a hairspray as a finisher instead can actually really help make your curls last a lot longer. So please let me know down below if you guys are going to check out these hairsprays, if you have any tips for keeping your curls lasting longer. I will have all the products that I use in the description box down below in addition to the new hairsprays. Definitely check them out. Make sure you're following me over on Instagram too because I will be sharing some more tips and tricks there on how to use hairspray different ways for your curls. If you're looking for more help on extending your wash days and just making your hair last longer, then you can check out the video that's linked right here on the screen. It's all about some of the reasons that your curls fall straight. So if you're somebody that really struggles with keeping your curls intact after wash day and if they just fall limp, then you'll definitely want to check this out because there are tons of reasons you might not have even thought of that are contributing to your curls falling limp. So I will talk to you over in that video. Bye everyone.